So <clears throat> today, hello friends. It's Maggie from Minutes in the Kitchen. Before I forget, please like, share, subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel. Because I'm going to be doing some traveling and I want to share with you some of um, some of the places and foods that I will be eating. But now that I'm retired, I want to... I am on a mission to uh, minimalist living. So I'm going to be... I'm giving myself a challenge, which is to use what I have in my house in terms of uh, food. You all know I can't eat too much carb, not because I don't like it, but because it doesn't like me. So right now I have some Brussels sprouts in my fridge that have been there for about a week and of course they start looking a little bit weird so i have some fish of course i'm a pescatarian and i love fish i could eat fish every day so i am going to cut these um brussels sprouts and i'm going to season them and I think what I want to do, I'm going to roast them today. And then I have some fish that are throwing in here. I went to the fish store and they had like the tail of a salmon. So I got a couple of them. So I'm going to season them. Just because it, they don't need to be seasoned too long. So I can do that while the uh, fish is, I mean, while the Brussels sprout is uh, roasting. And they don't take a long time in the oven because about like 15 minutes because again you don't want your vegetables to be overcooked oh my goodness I could I should have used them a while back so now they're a little bit on the yellowish side so don't do as I do if you buy um, your Brussels sprouts use them soon okay because you don't want them to lose that pretty green color oops but i'm going to cook them all right so it's going to take me a little bit here just because i'm taking away the the yellow outer and some of them are not so bad but oh my goodness i do that you know i buy this stuff and then i let it sit in the fridge but because I'm challenging myself to use whatever I have, so that's no excuse, I'm going to use them anyway. So I will come back and we can finish up. Okay, yeah, my daughter called and we were on the phone for a long time. All right, so I, um, I have, while I was on the phone talking to her, I seasoned the uh, Brussels sprout. So we have chopped cilantro, fresh garlic, pepper. I put some thyme in there, um, fresh pepper. Uh, I put a little bit of salt and uh, I put a little bit of adobo, okay? So now we are going to mix everything. And I put some oil, you saw me put some oil. So we're going to let this sit here and marinate for a little bit okay and while this is marinating I will uh, take care of the fish all right so we're gonna put that in here so you know Brussels sprouts are so good for you I also have some eggplant in the fridge that I bought last week so I need to hurry up and cook it so that it doesn't go bad. All right, so we're gonna let this, leave this here. And that look good. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. Okay. So we're gonna let this sit here for a minute. 
while I marinate the fish. Okay, so I have had these salmon tails. So I'm gonna take it out. You know, they snip the, the end. Okay. So, I'm thinking maybe I should cut this a little bit. That's too big. Right? You agree? Let us <clears throat> I use this. Hey. I'm watching this show where this girl is talking to women who have left the U.S. and relocated to other areas. All right, so we're going to rinse this fish oh it looks so pretty i don't think we need to keep this little tip here i hope you're doing okay whatever you are doing that you're making your life count i oh another one I recently retired from full-time work. And I am looking forward to new adventures. So I will be traveling around a bit. And I'm hoping to come back on and share my uh, experiences with you guys. You know, I think I need to get another dish. Because I kind of want, when I put the marinade, I don't want it to be going all over the place. You know, this is too big a dish, right? So. We're gonna do the same thing here. Okay, we're gonna put some olive oil. Fresh ground pepper. For my fish, I have this Seafood Spectacular. I like it. I bought this at, uh, I wanna say Marshall. That look pretty. And I have Herbe de Provence that I put in almost everything that I cook. Only a little bit. I put Adobo, you know, I use about the same kind of spices. And remember, with spice, with fish, you don't need a lot. Okay? 
So I'm gonna put some salt. And with the fish, I am gonna show you something that when I cook salmon, certain fish, I'm gonna use a hot mango marinade, okay? It's a chutney, all right? So what I do when I'm ready to cook the fish on the part that's gonna hit the, the pan, then I want a nice little glaze and char, I'm gonna put some of that on there and it's gonna give it a nice uh, color. Okay, so we put salt, pepper, oil, so we need now we need garlic and then we need uh, lemon juice. Of course, you want to be very generous with your lemon, right? So, lemon and fish, a perfect marriage, okay? So I think that's plenty. I don't think I need to put any more in there. You know, lemons are about almost 70 cents a piece on their way to about a dollar a piece. Yes. I went to the store yesterday and the food prices, oh my gosh. A dozen of eggs was like $6. Okay, with my fish, I need scotch bonnet peppers, okay? Uh, if you don't like hot, don't put it in, but I need scotch bonnet peppers. So, and the chutney is also a little bit hot. So, now this is hot. You don't like hot, leave it out. Okay? <clears throat> Fresh garlic. Nothing in my view can substitute for fresh garlic. You go put garlic powder on your food, you go right ahead. I just do not. Right? And I don't use Maggie in my in my food, even though I am Maggie. <laughs> even though my name is Maggie, I don't add that to my food. You know, when we were in school, I remember that the chef said, if you're gonna have put this stuff in your food, you don't belong here. Because what they teach you in school is how to build flavor. You don't need to be adding Maggie and Bouillon and all kinds of things in your food. I mean, you can if you want to, but you shouldn't count on that to create flavor. Okay? That is my opinion. And don't come for me because I have an opinion. Now, as I said once, when, let me turn the oven on so I can start putting. So we're gonna put this um, 400 degrees for the um, Brussels sprouts. Once it's hot and it starts to get really nice and golden, I'm gonna cover it and let it cook a little bit more, okay? So I'm thinking 15 minutes and then let it cook covered for another 10 maybe. Because again, I don't ever want my um, my vegetables to be overcooked. Okay. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is some chopped cilantro. You know what, this marinade works every time. Okay, so 
Now, if you're cooking poultry, like chicken or uh, turkey, try adding a little bit of ginger. Oh, wow. It just elevates it. It takes it to the next level, okay? Don't forget. Oh. Okay, my fresh cilantro is in the other fridge, but I have a little bit left in this bunch. So we're gonna use that. Cilantro does not last long, so just keep that in mind. But it's a cheap type of herb that you can buy. All right. So when you marinate fish, you wanna marinate it for like five, 10 minutes, no more than that. Because you know, it's like when you do a ceviche, if you put your acids in there, it starts cooking the fish. And that's why you're able to eat, you know, raw fish. It starts to cook. So you don't need to marinate, I say that all the time. You don't need to marinate your fish like you marinate poultry, chicken, okay? All right, so here we go. We're gonna marinate this fish, and then when I come back, we will cook the fish with, now this is a nice thickness of salmon. So this is gonna take a little bit longer to cook because remember, it's not like a steak where you've cut it like this and it's about this thick. This is gonna take a little bit longer. So. flavor you know I bet you if you go to a restaurant they're gonna do a little salt a little pepper and that would be it mm -mm. not for me you know when I cook this stuff and I'm eating it it's like oh my god this is so good even though I cook for me so all right Let's see. Oh, yeah. Got a nice little kick. Got enough acid. Okay. So we're ready. So we are going to put the... Oh, there it is. The oven is ready. Brussels sprouts go in. Once it's cooked, we'll come back and we'll finish with the fish. See ya. Okay, so we're gonna get the fish started. The um, the Brussels sprouts, I took them out, took the, uh, took them out, added a little bit of water, a little bit of butter, and I also added a little bit of um, Italian dressing. So when I cook my fish, I always add a little bit of butter to my, vegetable oil okay that is my little secret okay so i said i was going to use my mango chutney so what i'm going to do i'm going to put the fish in and i'm going to add a little bit of chutney just on top so that i can get a glaze you know, when I put that fish down on the side where we have the chutney, okay? And we're gonna make sure it gets caramelized really well before we flip it. And because the fish is a little bit on the thick side, we're gonna make sure that we have the, the heat on medium. You see right here, I have the chutney. 
and we're gonna put it down. Yeah, I got a little bit. This burner is a little bit on the hot side, so I have to watch it. And also, there's chutney on here, so we're gonna put it down. And I'm going to add a little bit more on this one. Yep. So I don't have any onions in there, so there's really not much that's going to burn. Okay. And then when I flip it, I'm going to do the same thing. So because this fish is well seasoned, so we're just going to baste it. I don't usually feel I need to add more herbs into the oil because this fish marinated for like a good 15 minutes, which is usually more than I let them marinate for. Now see how thick this thing is? Once I flip it and I glaze the other side, I'm going to cover it. So the heat is gonna help, gonna help it cook a little bit faster. So these two are gonna cook faster than this one. So if I had some um, basil and rosemary, I would put it on in the oil, but I don't have any of those. We're letting it caramelize. And then towards the end, when it's almost done, I'll add the rest of the marinade and maybe I will um, add some onions. That's gonna be good. Uh, yep, I, I have one, I had a bag of red onions. So I'm gonna get this one ready. This lady left the UK and went back to Grenada, her island. I'm telling you, there's a movement. People are leaving the toxic west for more sunshine and a slower piece of life. And also, trying to save their children. You know, black boys get treated the same way black men get treated in this country. They get treated the same way in the UK. You know, they show some time where the police stops them for no reason, frisk them, ask them where they're going, what they're doing there. Control. They still be in control. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'll tell you. Alright, so let me flip this. Carbolization. You didn't think I was lying, right? Look at that. Oh my god. That's the mango chutney, okay? Oh my goodness. Let me put the big one in the middle so you'll get. Wow. Now, you see what I didn't do though? I didn't put the chutney on the other side, so I'm gonna have to flip them a little bit before I turn them. You're gonna add the chutney so that side can be caramelized as well. Okay? That's what caused that beautiful glaze that you see. Mango. All right, so now we can flip it. Mm. Okay. So you see, you can buy salmon. You don't have to only buy the, uh, the steak. 
the tail is pretty incredible. All right, now, a little bit of chutney, and then we're gonna flip it. Okay. Mm. Wow. Okay. A little bit of basting. Wow. That is so cool. Now I'm going to be sure I'm going to lower the heat and let this cook for a good 10 minutes because I want this to be to cook through. I'm going to turn the heat down. Cover it. Mm -hmm. The heat is going to distribute. So if you ever get a chance to get this mango chutney, I think if you go to the Asian store, you might find it. I don't remember where I got this one. I really don't. All right, so... The, I turned the, um, I'm going to turn the oven off on the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to get my plate ready that I'm going to use to um, plate. I've been kind of snacking on some hummus here. get a big old a big plate and I'll turn it down a bit more I mean seriously cooking is a passion for me it really is. And I think most people who love cooking will tell you the same thing. We love to cook. And we love to eat, most of us. That's why a lot of us look a little bit plump. It takes a lot of discipline to uh Mm. Oh, now remember that salmon is a little bit of an oily fish, so it has a little bit of oil. Keep basting it. is a little bit more challenging because of this thick piece of fish. So when you're going to put that on your plate, wow. Alright, let's cover it again. Okay. 
onions. Almost done. Yeah, I did a video on Saturday and I feel like it was a little bit depressing because I was still musing about the mass shooting in Buffalo. And I was talking about how you keep your mental health. You know, you guys are welcome to check my videos on nurse training and advocacy. I put a lot of nice content there. I think, you know, we tell people, subscribe to the channel. I need you to subscribe. People don't understand why it's important. Different rules. Okay. Alright. I am going to get rid of some of the oil. It's just a little bit too much. Alright. So let's flip this. Oh my God, look at the beauty. <laughs> oh, guys. All right, that's gonna take off a little bit of the oil. You know, if you're going to have a little bit of gravy, you don't want it to be so oily. All right. I think we're good. So we're going to put the onions in. And of course, you want the onion to be al dente. You don't want them to get too soft. And I think the color is going to be really nice. the rest of our marinade. Just a little bit of water. You know, I'm always wiping when I'm cooking. I'm being very gentle because this phone is just hanging by a... I don't want it to uh, tip over. 
All right, so we're gonna let this simmer for like maybe two minutes. And then we're gonna put a pat of butter and we'll be good. All right, in the meantime, let me take the, um, the Brussels sprouts out and I'll show you what they look like. These are the Brussels sprouts. They are beautiful. They're soft, ready to be eaten. Look at that. Oh my goodness. See how beautiful? Let's see. See how soft? Woohoo! Mm -mm -mm. I am determined to make you love Brussels sprouts. Oh. But I was thinking about this, this phone. Yeah, you see how that those onions are? They're soft. Perfect. And the little bit of um, liquid that I had in there already evaporated. Oh man, okay. Turn that off. It's ready. We're ready to plate. All right, I'm going to straighten up this spoon so it doesn't come down. All right, so let's see how we're gonna do this let's move this over here sorry my hand was in the way <sighs> okay so we are going to plate can you see that perfect all right i have my fancy plate so let's put a bed of the Brussels sprouts. Now this one, the Brussels sprouts are not green as I would love for them to be. Now, I could have cooked them, um, just steam them, right? And then toss them in like a little bit of, um, of an Italian vinaigrette. You could do that, okay? And let's see, we're going to put this beautiful piece of fish right on top. <gasps> oh my God, okay. And then we have some red onions. Oh man. I'm gonna put a little bit of that gravy on top. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. You see how pretty that is? Now that is a meal, okay? Mm. 
we have a piece of lemon right there. It's going to be on this side. And I am going to decorate it with some cilantro. Oops. Okay. This one dropped. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? You watch me do this. You watch me do it. Au revoir. À la prochaine. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the video so the algorithm can help. Bye. Okay, this is the salmon tail over a bed of Brussels sprouts. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let's see, move this thing a little bit. Wow, look at that, you guys. That's... Um, some red onion, and it's got caramelized mango chutney.